You know, guys, it's good to see you, but I'd much rather see you on the set. I can't take this anymore. Me neither. I have a real job now. It's awful. Of course it's awful. SBO was great. I, I think miss we're going to get guys. We got our punishments. The NCAA's made its room. Oh, our punishments? Did you get one? Oh, I only see two other... Hmm. I see quietness. Battle sale got off easy. NCAA featuring yellow paper, I guess. They want me to pass an anger management course? Oh my god, I have to give back everything I stole. I have to become an American citizen? No way. Soda for two weeks. Two weeks? Matt, you can't last two minutes. Guys, no. Guys, guys, relax. I know you're all mad at me. I know you think I betrayed you, but we're going to get through this. I'm going to be here to support you guys. Great. Great. Sounds wonderful. Thanks. Let's get this done. All right, Brad, you ready? Bring it on, guys. Remember, you have to stay calm. Calm is the key. I'm ready. All right. All right, here we go. The Jets are going to finish 8-8 eight and eight and just miss the playoffs. What do you think of that? Everyone's entitled to their opinion, Evan. The greatest fans in the world are Mets fans. Anthony, um, that's a great point. I'm, I'm sure they have their, their great fans. How'd that Red Sox game go last night? You excited about AJ tonight? Um, Matt Straub, uh, AJ Burnett has You're the... the Red Sox are going to win the division, right? Joe Namath is the most overrated quarterback in the history of quarterbacks. Um, the Jets are the biggest failing franchise ever. Yeah, because they had Joe Namath as a Have they ever won a Super Bowl? This is when was the last time they won a Super Bowl? Why are we if, having this conversation? If Bill Belichick was the coach of the Jets, they would have won the last Hudson! Super Bowl. Joe, here's the moment of truth. You've got to return everything you've stolen. Everything? Everything. You know, it's so not a big deal. Like flowers for my girlfriend, a mouse for my computer, space heater, because, you know, winter's coming soon, and on that note, a nice shovel. Papers, in case I get bored without power. A flashlight, in case I lose power. And then this is just an assortment of things that I took from the room that no one was using. And then I have this nice laptop here, okay? It's not that much stuff. This is everything. And just in case things get messy, I have my vacuum cleaner. I was going to return all of it. I really was. Hey, time to be an American. Let's have the questions. All right, who's your favorite athlete? Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky! Yeah. Hey, Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. Who's your favorite game show host? Oh, easy. Alex Trebek, eh? Okay. Wait a minute. Whoa. He's Canadian. Oh, Bob, Bob Barker. Bob Barker? Okay. What are the colors of the flag? Red and white. And? Oh, shoot. And blue. Red, white, and blue. All I right. love red, white, and blue. I think you're finally Best ready to become an American. Get the skates off. Ah, I'll miss you, Ice Skates. Hello, America. All right, Matt, you ready? Yeah, what, what are we doing? What? I'm just gonna put this right here. Oh, come on. Okay. Everybody got yours? We're ready. Yep. Oh. It's good. Oh, man. Cheers. Oh, God. Ah. The cream in this is just Cheers, delicious. Anthony. Lemon lime. Nothing better. Don't do it, Matt. Delicious. Matt, don't do it. Matt. So. Matt, you just don't gotta, need it. You, you don't gotta be it. around if other you people. you can be strong in this moment, you can be oh, strong man. all the but time. But how could anybody be strong in the presence of this delicious soda? My God. Oh, man. You're doing it, Matt. You're doing it. You can do this. Oh, God, this is delicious. All right, guys. I got it. I'm going to tell them about the athlete testimonials, too. I think they're going to go for this. Peter Zadorian hockey camp brought with it a bunch of talented players to the area last weekend, and a couple of those players were NHL stars, one of them being Winnipeg Jet star Rod Hainsey. Joe, you talked to him for SBO. I did, Brad, and he talked about the move from the Atlanta Thrashers to the Winnipeg Jets. You all know that the Thrashers relocated earlier this summer, and he's actually very excited to play in front of what is expected to be a fantastic fan base. Yeah, you know, there's the, obviously, the moving everybody up there and, you know, getting rid of the house in Atlanta and everything, but the fan base is excited. Um, you know, season tickets are sold out for five years, so, uh, you know, once we get everything up there situated, the, uh, you know, the season starts, it's going to be a blast. Many players use the hockey camp as a tool to get ready for the upcoming season, but Hainsey does so for another reason. Aside from the training, Hainsey likes to go to the camp to reconnect with friends and familiar faces. I've been with Pete for seven, eight years now. We've been doing this for five or six. Uh, you know, we're getting more and more different guys every year. We get guys that go to Europe or not. Uh, you know, this year, Commissaire, Newberry. So we've been mixing in some different guys. We've been playing, uh, you know, uh, playing some NHL games, obviously. And, uh, you know, camp's a blast. Gets kind of the kickoff of the season. 
Hey, to use the camp as the first step to get ready for the NHL season. This week's the first week back, so uh, just getting out there, get the footwork back, trying to get the hands back, uh, get on coordination back. It takes a while after you've been off for a week, so. <laughs> now here's Evan and Matt at the desk. It's time to go back to school, but it's time for the rest of us to watch college football. It starts this weekend, and Matt, there's some local games of high interest. There are. UConn finally gets its season going on Saturday afternoon, assuming the National Guard is out of Wrenchler Field. The game was moved from Thursday night because of Hurricane Irene, but the Huskies are ready to go against Fordham. Also Saturday at noon is Central Connecticut State, their opener against Southern. The Blue Devils are hoping that they're on their way to their first ever appearance in the FCS playoffs. Week 1 isn't too early to be thinking national championship, especially for four perennial contenders who will face off against each other in Week 1. First, we have LSU that will take on high speed and fast Oregon. It will surely be a high-scoring game. And then we have Boise State perennially shut out of the championship game, facing off against Georgia. We'll have coverage of those games and many, many more on the first episode of Brad Carroll's Game Day, Friday. Fantasy football owners have to be breathing a sigh of relief today as the Tennessee Titans and running back Chris Johnson finally agreed to a four-year deal worth $53.5 million. The only question now is, why did the Titans take so long signing that deal? That's a big-time deal for them, not for Chris Johnson. It's only $30 million guaranteed, too. That's a big deal for the Titans. Just what took so long? I guess it shows that the Titans don't really know what they're doing. That's a final take, and that's a final rant here on Sports Page Online.